Yes, hello and welcome to Yoga Therapy Made Possible by UCLA Health's Integrative Medicine Collaborative. My name is Julie and I'm here to be your guide today. We um, are going to practice some heating postures today. Uh, and this is the yogic practice of cultivating the opposite. Since uh, we're in winter and it's cool out, we'll cultivate the opposite by creating our own internal heat. So let's begin by sitting in the chair or on the floor, whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. Start by moving the flesh away from the sitting bones so that the tailbone gets a really good connection. And then add some consciousness to your seat. Make sure that the knees are right on top of the ankles, the knees in alignment with the hips. The chin pull back so that the forehead is right above the chin. Shoulders soft. Seating. Coming into the moment. Transitioning from anything that happened before this moment as you come into this body, into this moment, this is an opportunity for you to spend all of your focus and energy on yourself. Mm -hmm. And yogic principles teach that there's one place we can always go to get away from it all, and that is to turn inward. Let's sit in stillness and quiet for about 10 seconds. Great. Controlling the things that we can and reminding ourselves of the power of the respiratory system. Bring your awareness now to the inhale and the exhale and the two gaps in between. As you begin consciously breathing in and out through the nostrils and exhaling, pulling the belly back toward the spine. This is the breath of reducing stress. This is the breath of rest, digest, renew. Choose a rhythm and a pace that you can maintain and notice that you're given a choice here to discern and that you're able to. And often just by bringing awareness to the breath, bringing consciousness first to the way we're seated and now to the way we're breathing, we tend to feel a little calmer, a little more present. And everything tends to slow, not really slow down so much as return to the pace of nature, return to the pace of life, remembering that we too are a part of nature. Breathing in and out through the nostrils, begin to notice that the breath is four parts, the inhale, the pause, the exhale, and the pause. This is the four part breath or the box breath. And we'll practice three rounds with counting and then practice on your own choosing a rhythm and a pace. Inhale for one, two, pause. Exhale, two, one, pause. Inhale, pause. Exhale, and pause. Continue on your own. Four part breath. Noticing the cyclical nature and the force of the breath. Keeping your focus as best as you can on breathing, on the moment, on the physical body. One last four part breath here. And now you have the option of staying in the chair or coming to standing. Both are correct. With your inhale, circle, sweep, reach the arms up, clasp the hands and point them upward toward the sky. Make sure you haven't lost any of the conscious posture. Your knees right on top of your ankles. If you're standing, your hips on top of your knees. 
seated or standing, the ears right on top of the shoulders and the chin slightly tucked back so the forehead is on top of the knee. Take a deep inhale and exhale, let's crescent toward the right and hold the pose as you look down at the floor. Inhale, exhale, look straight ahead. Holding this pose or with your next inhale, looking all the way up. On your next inhale, reach up and exhale, release the hands by the side of the body. Coming into a wider stance, nice and easy rotation of the spine here, letting the hands fall, letting the opposite heel come up if you are standing. One more on each side. As you come back to the neutral standing or seated position. With your next inhale circle sweep again, this time clasp the hands your non-habitual way. And once again, elbows bent or straightened without locking, lifting up, tucking the chin back. Take a deep inhale. With your exhale, crescent toward the left. Equal pressure on both feet. Looking down at the ground as you inhale. Exhale, look straight ahead. Inhale here. And if you're able, looking all the way up. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, bring the hands down by the side of the body. With your next inhale, circle sweep, reach up. And with your exhale, follow the breath down as you fold. Inhale, come halfway up, exhale, fold. Bend in the knee if you're standing, circle sweep, reach up, press the palms together and exhale, hands at your heart. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Again, circle sweep, reach. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, come halfway up, exhale, fold. Bend in the knee, circle sweep, reach up. And exhale, close the pose. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Last one like this, circle sweep, reach. Exhale, follow the breath down. Inhale, halfway up, exhale down. Bend in the knees, circle sweep, reach up. Press the palms together and exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Take a deep inhale and sigh it out. Two more like that, thumbs at the sternum, elbows parallel with the floor. Bring the hands down by the side of the body with your inhale, circle sweep, reach. Exhale, follow the breath all the way down. Seated or standing, take the arms back behind you. If you're standing, bend in the knee. And with your next exhale, fold. Circle sweep, reach all the way up and press the palms together. Exhale, hands at the heart. Take a deep inhale and sigh it out. Circle sweep, lengthen. Exhale, flex and fold. Inhale, chair pose with the arms behind you. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep, reach up and exhale, press the palms together. Inhale and exhale. Last one like that. With the inhale, we lengthen. With the exhale, we fold. With the inhale, here's effort. Exhale, ease. Inhale, circle sweep, reach up. Exhale, press the palms together in front of the heart. Take a deep inhale and sigh it out. Two more like that. Seated or standing, extend the arms straight out. The fingers are together and the thumbs are pointing up toward the sky. Without looking up at your hand, with your inhale, bring the arms together. The thumbs come together and exhale, hands return down. Let's do a few more like that. 
using the power of your mind to bring the thumbs together. Let's do one more like this. Extend the arms straight out. Take a deep inhale, reach up. Without moving the hips, exhale, bring the right ha left hand forward and the right hand back behind you. And again, you wanna make sure you're not collapsing on one side. You wanna stand up as tall as you can here in another twist for the spine. With your next inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, let's go to the opposite side. Left arm comes forward. Sorry, right hand comes forward, left hand comes back behind you. Shoulders are soft, breathing. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, fold. Three more like that. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Release. Two more on your own. And the next time you come into the fold, we're going to hold the pose, release the head, release the neck, make sure you're breathing. If you're standing, slight bend in the knee. Maybe even sliding your hands underneath your feet. Maybe backing off if you feel any pain in the hip or the low back. Breathing. Release the hands. If you're standing on them, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, hands down by the side of the body. If you are standing, come into the seat. And we'll come into a wide um, seated posture here. Both feet are facing forward. More rotation for the spine. Take a deep inhale as you lengthen. And with your exhale, bring the right shoulder toward the left knee. Inhale, center. And exhale, left shoulder toward right knee. Continue on your own. Letting the breath lead. Inhale is effort. Exhale is ease. And the next time the left shoulder comes toward the right knee, drop the left hand down. It can hang or you can bring your fingertips down to the ground. Bring the right hand to your right hip as you breathe in and out. Keep the hips facing forward. Breathing. Looking toward the right. You can stay here or you can reach the right arm up toward the ceiling, toward the sky. Wherever you are, three deep inhales and exhales without clenching or tightening in the toes and the ankles and the pelvic floor. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, bring the right hand to meet the left. Wide seated forward fold. You can bring your hands to your feet or your ankles or they can hang. Letting the head hang, tucking the chin of the chest as you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, right shoulder toward the left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, left shoulder toward the right. Continue on your own. The next time the right shoulder comes toward the left knee, drop the right hand down, maybe hanging, maybe down to the floor, bring the left hand. You can stay on the thigh or you can bring it back to your left hip. 
Make sure the head and the neck go along for the right so you're looking toward the left. You can stay here or you can lift the arm all the way up wherever you are, three deep inhales and exhales. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, unwind as you come into the forward fold. Breathing. Releasing tension in the tongue and the neck. Heart above the head or level with the head. Tuck the chin to the chest as you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Heel, toe, heel, toe, come back to the seat. Pushing yourself away from the back if your back is connected to the chair. We're gonna release the right shoulder now. Keep the left hand on the left thigh and let the right hand hang and let's shake out this right wrist, this right arm, this right shoulder. Bring your gaze to the right hand and follow it as you inhale, reach the right arm all the way up, swing it back behind you and exhale, release with a uh, loud exhale. <sighs> and let the arm hang. We'll do that two more times on this right side. Inhale, circle, sweep, reach. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Last time, inhale, circle, sweep, reach, and release. <sighs> Bring the right hand to the right thigh, coming back to the seated posture. Let's compare right shoulder, right side of the torso, maybe even the right hip to the left side. Does one feel like you have more access, more warmth, more length? Do they feel the same? We'll go to the opposite side now, letting the left hand hang, shaking, releasing. Set your gaze on the left hand. Inhale, circle, sweep, reach, and exhale, let it go. <sighs> Two more times here. Inhale, reach, follow, and exhale, release. Last time here, inhale, circle, sweep, reach, and exhale, let it go. <laughs> Bringing the left hand to the left thigh, sitting up tall. Once again, breathing in and out consciously through the nostrils. Bring both hands down by the side of the body and give them a shake. We'll do the same thing here. With your inhale, circle sweep, reach up. And with your exhale, release. <sighs> Let those arms find a natural a natural pattern. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, circle, sweep, reach, and release. <sighs> One more time here. Inhale, circle, sweep, reach, and exhale, release. <sighs> Tuck the chin to the chest as you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Let's bring a circular motion round and round. Keep the hips on the seat. So notice we've been um, focusing a lot on this center of self. This is the third chakra, somewhere between the belly button and the sternum. Let's head in the opposite direction. and come back to the center. Let's add a twist in here, either open with the feet facing forward, right ankle over left or right knee over left. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, follow the breath as you twist toward the right. Let the shoulders fall. 
Let the tongue release, controlling the twist, controlling the torque as you breathe in and out. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, unwind head, shoulders, and low back. Let's give the hip a little release here, bending the right knee and bringing the right foot to the right thigh. With your inhale, circle sweep, reach up. And with your exhale, reach toward the screen. Ah, there it is. Make sure that left foot is right on top of the left knee. Palms are facing each other, reaching toward the screen. Right hip rotates away from center. With your next inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And with your exhale, release the hands down by the side of the body, take the right foot down. We'll do the twist on the opposite side, ankle straight ahead or right knee over left, inhale, lift up. Exhale, here's the twist toward the left. Breathing, keeping the hips facing forward. Really examining your edge here, not exceeding it, not shying away. And once again, focusing on that center of self, center of physical body. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, unwind head, shoulders, and low back, bending the left knee, left foot to the right thigh. Inhale, circle sweep, reach up. And with your exhale, reach toward the screen. Yeah, feel free to make adjustments on that right foot. Make sure the right knee's right on top of the right ankle. As you reach forward, keep the chin tucked to the chest. Palms facing each other, thumbs up toward the ceiling. On your next inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, hands come to the side, release the leg. Inhale, circle sweep. And exhale, forward fold. Making yourself in a tight little body, tight little ball. Chin comes toward the chest. Grabbing onto the feet, maybe clasping the elbows behind the thighs. Whatever feels good here. Tight little ball. Tuck the chin to the chest as you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. With your inhale, five pointed star as wide as you can. And with your exhale, tight little ball. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze and fold. Three more like that. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Two more. Tuck the chin to the chest as you roll all the way up. One last pose today, grabbing onto the side of the chair or bringing your hands back behind you, squeezing the shoulder blades together without lifting them and lifting the chin to a comfortable level. Maybe looking straight ahead, maybe looking at where the wall meets the ceiling, maybe looking at the ceiling, breathing in and out. Feel the arch in the low back. Get a sense of opening the front side of the body. Sense of expansion in the chest and the heart. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, release. As you come into a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you, you can even come to the floor if you like. Coming into stillness and quiet, we invite the mind to do the same. Let's use a hand um, position today, bringing the tips of the fingers and the tips of the thumbs together, and then letting this rest on your lap, forearms on the thighs, 
letting go of conscious breathing. There's light pressure here, as if you're holding a thread or a strand of hair. Sitting in stillness and quiet for one minute today. Beginning now. Returning to this sense of stillness and quiet that yogic principles teach is our true nature. We have to prioritize time to reconnect like any other relationship It requires focus and energy and attention. Still in a Hakini Mudra with the fingers together and the thumb tips together. Let this be like a dream catcher and think about something, something that you heard or saw today or experienced in class that didn't serve your purpose and let it go in between the gaps of the fingers and the thumb. And now think about something that you heard or saw or experienced today that resonated with you and let that wisdom or lesson catch in the fingers and the thumbs. We use this hand seal to help us retain that which serves and release that which no longer serves, maybe never did. And slowly bring your awareness back to the physical body. Think about all those sun salutations we did creating inner heat, even though we might not be able to see the sun, it is always there. Same as this sense of peace and balance that you have returned to. Slowly bring your awareness to the tip of your nose, breathing in and out. And release the seal as you bring your hands down by the side of the body, give the hands and the arms a shake. Circle sweep, inhale, reach up. Exhale, press the palms together in front of your heart space. The teacher in me honors and bows to and respects the teacher in each one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste, Julie.